try to drive fast enough that those uh, anti-tank missiles cannot uh, hit me. My name is uh, Boaz Perry. I'm 63 years old. And I live in Kibbutz Malkia, which is uh, about 700 meters from the Lebanese border, up in the north of Israel, in the upper Galilee. Prior to October 7, life was good. I live practically all my life in Kibbutz Malkia. I was born in there. Everything was really wonderful. The Kibbutz was uh, flourishing. But uh, since 7 of October, everything stopped. They did start shooting. We were working in the orchard and we were exposed to, uh, to the uh, Hezbollah. And uh, we had cases that we were working and uh, like um, shells fell down like maybe 100 meters from us. So, and we had to evacuate. Yeah, it's, it's a war. One day, imagine somebody comes and tells you, you know, pack your stuff and just go away. Find yourself uh, somewhere else to live. And since then, I'm in a place called Verda Galil, uh, just above the Tiberias uh, Lake. But I keep on working in the orchards of Malkia and driving back and forward. Since I grew up there and I know all the ways and also all, all the back ways of, uh, of in, in the fields, I just uh, keep on going because uh, just we have to keep on uh, doing our things. Try to drive fast enough that those uh, anti-tank missiles cannot uh, hit me. We are kibbutz who lives on agriculture. We had to close the chicken house because you cannot afford uh, growing the chickens over there with the risk of uh, getting hit. The beef cattle is uh, scattered around and, you know, we don't know exactly how many left and where they are because many places we are not allowed to uh, to reach. The people who stay there have to keep on fighting and put, on, put down the fires and preserve the place whenever there is um, a hit on, on infrastructures like water, electricity, roads, you know, the, the effect is really so hard. This is the only place we have. This is really the only place that Jewish people have, and we can't afford not to succeed in what we do.